you. Yes. Do you have any emergency appointments? When for? Well, now, this morning, I badly need to see a doctor. What seems to be the problem? I have a bad back. Well, it looks all right to me, but I must admit, I've only seen you from the front. <laughs> no, please, I'm in a lot of pain. Okay. But uh, where's the blood coming from? I'm sorry? What blood? Right there on the reception desk. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't notice. Oh, well, you should. It looks like it's your blood. I'm sorry, I cut my finger on the door. Well, can you please stop bleeding? I'm sorry? Stop bleeding. Bleeding is not permitted anywhere in this surgery. Our cleaning operatives do not get here till 11. Oh! Um, health and safety regulations, I'm afraid. Here's a tissue. Now, about my appointment. Can you fit me in this morning? Certainly. 11.20 suit you? Nothing sooner. Um, 10.20. Oh, that's better. Your name? Elizabeth Donahue. Donahue. How do you spell that? I couldn't tell you. I'm dyslexic. Date of birth? 10-11-64. Oh, here you are. Just book you in. Thank you. Are you paying by a credit card? Credit card? Yes. But isn't this the NHS? Yes, it is. The appointment is £65, but if you pay by a credit card, we throw in a free blood test. Well, what's going on? I mean, are the appointments and everything free? Well, yes, some are. Some? Yes. Since Monday, the government privatised the NHS behind everyone's back. Oh. Well, I, I didn't know. You have to pay for your emergency appointment now, I'm afraid. But I can't afford £65. Do you do any emergency appointments that are free? Yes, we do. Uh, can I have one? Yes, but you need a genuine emergency to qualify for one. My back is killing me. No, a genuine emergency? Like um, a heart attack, stroke, clinical death, something like that. Or you need three health problems. Does my cut finger cut? Well, has it stopped bleeding? Yes, it has. Well, if you can find a knife from somewhere and cut it again, it will qualify. You will, however, still need to have a third health problem. That's easy. I'm depressed. Well, so is the rest of the country. Many have been for years. Oh. Oh, dear. Unless you can get pregnant. And then you only need two. Get pregnant? Yes. Oh, I couldn't do that. So why not? There's a couple of decent-looking men in the waiting room upstairs, and I'm sure if you were to ask oh, nicely... Please, my back is really hurting me. I am not in the mood for jokes. <coughs> Neither is anyone else, at least not now. Not now that we've got a coalition government. Yes. Anyway, you wanted a free appointment, yes? Yes, please. As an emergency? If it's possible. Well, I've got one available February the 8th next year. What? I said I can book you in as an emergency to see the doctor for free February the 8th next year. We've got a bit of a waiting list for emergency appointments to see the doctor, you see. Oh, Lord. Are you serious? Yes, I am. Since Monday, our healthcare trust has been taken over by Croydon Wings, a budget airline flying London Gatwick to Terra Molinas and a resort in Greece I cannot even pronounce, but they go there three times a week for 20 quid. But I, I can't wait till February. Do you have, surely you have some appointments for today? Um, 
Oh yes, I have. I've got two appointments, in fact. Please, can I have one? Yes, but uh, there are conditions. Yes. Well, it depends on which one you choose. I can book you in either at 10.40 or we have another at 12.20. I'll take the one at 10.40. Okay. <sighs> Do you want to know the condition? Yes. I can book you in at 10.40, but you cannot leave the surgery until the last Saturday of this month. But that's almost two weeks away. What about the one at 12.20? One minute, let me just check. Oh, I am sorry. Seems like I've made a mistake. Uh, what? It seems like the 1220 is for the virility clinic. Oh. Oh dear. Unless of course you just go upstairs. What? No. Sorry. Forget that. No, I'm sorry. I'll just see if I can find another appointment for you, okay? Okay. I don't believe this. Who thought of this crazy idea? I'm not sure. It depends on which paper you read. But I was reading somewhere some time ago that there was this American woman. I think she was called Sarah Payne. Well, anyway, she tried to help out the United States President Obama with health care and she rang up the NHS. Well, anyway, um, but then there was something to do with death squads and then the president became really upset and then um uh, and then he introduced something different ridiculous what is going on with the world well i don't know but if you think that there's a problem here you want to go to america why what's happening in america well from what i was reading there's a lot of americans who are very upset and angry why are they upset and angry would you believe it? A shortage of tea bags. A shortage of tea bags? Yes, that's right. Tea bags. You're right. That sounds even more crazy. No, I think that is the reason why the Americans invaded Iraq and Afghanistan. Over a shortage of tea bags? Well, I thought it was over weapons of mass destruction. No. The White House just made up that story because President Bush was too embarrassed to tell Tony Blair that the Americans were running short of tea bags and that Iraq was stockpiling them. You know, I think that is why they were after that Osama bin Laden man. I believe that he had tea plantations in the mountains of Afghanistan. Really? But anyway, my back is killing me. Yes, of course. Please accept my apologies. Now then, let me see. Ah, uh, yes. I have an appointment at 2.20 today. 2.20? Oh, that's not till the afternoon. <laughs> but it's free. That's not unless you want to stay here till the last Saturday of this month. Oh, okay, I, I guess it will have to do. Okay. Just booking you in. Thank you. And I have the address where you need to go to for the appointment. What? You mean it's not here? No, it isn't. But well, where is it then? It's in Aberdeen, Scotland. You what? Scotland? Oh, we're in South London now. My back is so bad I have struggled to get here from Clapham. How do you expect me to get to Aberdeen? Oh, well, I mean, there are uh, frequent train services from London King's Cross and you can get flights from London Heathrow. But there's no way I'm going to get to Aberdeen in time for the appointment. I mean, it's, it's a quarter to ten now. Oh, that's a point. 
Oh, I'm sorry. But all our appointments are now made via a central booking office in Albania. Albania? <laughs> yes. The government paid for the service and in making the cuts it just went for the cheapest available option. This is ridiculous. Tell you what. I have a cancellation for the psychiatric referral clinic. But I'm not mad. At least I hope not. No, I know that. But if you're quick, you'll get to see the doctor. Just tell him you're a compulsive liar. Oh, okay then.